Yes, the truth is divinely simple. It is the silence, the stillness of life in divine mind. It is spirit. It is everlasting happiness, freedom, and joy. If a course in miracles is a symphony, the atonement is the crescendo. If you see it in terms of notes, the atonement is the keynote. Love extends itself, being what it is. The awareness of one implies the non-existence of another. Ego is make believe. Can make believe be real if only love is real? Ego is opinion. Can eternal, unconditional love know of opinion? Ego is falsehood. Can love, being true, have awareness of falsehood? Love is true and real. And only love is true and real. Love is one. Trivial thoughts are clung to and justified and defended by a deceived mind that believes the solution to a feeling of inner emptiness can be found among them. Yet. This deceived mind is itself trivial stuff, for it is not real, and it is not who you are—the I Am presence. Once you get clear that you are the dreamer of the dream, you do not have to constantly compromise with the dream figures. You are not in their dream. Remember, if you are the dreamer of the dream, the dream cannot hurt you. The function of God's teachers is awareness of dreaming. Remind yourself, this is my dream. There are six billion people in fear of death, covering one mind. In fear of living. If we had a course twelve-step group, we would introduce ourselves by saying, "Hi, my name is so and so, and I have a perceptual problem." People ask, "Is the world getting better or worse?" Some say it is getting worse and more complex. But the cause of the world is in the mind, and time is not really multiplying the problems. There still is only one problem: the belief in separation. Even though the many hides the zero of everything, no matter how many times you multiply an illusion by zero, you still have zero. The cause is not in the world or. And still, there are scientists looking into the cosmos for the beginning of it all, the Big Bang. They still believe that there is a cause out there on the screen. We are here learning that the cause is in the mind. I say, you spot it, you got it. You perceive it, you believe it. Remember that if someone speaks a word to you, the power of interpretation is in your own mind. People can tell you anything and everything, but the power of interpretation is your own. You always have the power to join the Holy Spirit.
your best imaginings of how to finagle this or that just send you into a tizzy because of the belief that you are in charge of your own awakening. When you give up trying to control the direction of the wind, the feather of serenity will gently make its way to you.